welcome to our video and uh, great that you are interested in deploying our Scapman. In this video, uh, we will focus on our version 2.0. In general, I think deploying Scapman is quite easy. So for sure, what you need is an Azure and a Microsoft 365 tenant, but that's basically it. And currently we offer uh, two options for you to deploy Scapman. The first one, um, you also see it on the slides, is via Azure Marketplace. So just go ahead, open your Azure portal and search for Scapman. Then you will see our logo, click on get it now. And yeah, then you need to fill out some things like for example, the resource group name and your organization name. And then that's basically it. Azure will then deploy all needed resources like our app service or the key vault, for example. And then you basically have everything up and running. But let us also have a look on our second option. You can also uh, go to our documentation. You can simply reach the docs from us under docs.scapman.com. Dot com and it's always important to look into our docs because there is everything um, yeah, explained in details and there you will find the enterprise deployment as you also see it on the slides. Just choose one of the three links in yellow. Those three links are basically our different channels of Scapman. So for example, our production channel with the stable version and we also offer you the option to uh, use our beta or internal channel if you want to test something. The good thing here is you are yeah, directly um, landing in the Azure portal and with this deployment option you can yeah, even specify more of the settings. So here you're very flexible in also defining the names of your resources. That's not fully possible via the marketplace deployment. So I would say, Torsten, let's demonstrate this option also in your tenant. Okay. Starting from docs, you can go to deployment options, enterprise deployment. And as uh, Stefan already mentioned, choose your channel um, that you want to deploy. Yeah, let's you choose should the production have another channel. tab already logged into Azure portal. Um, mm -hmm best case. So now when you click the production link, it will ask you to verify which of your credentials um, that you want to use. You should always use a administrator credential, of course. And then you get to the sheet where you need to fill out some basic information. You need to select the subscription. You can select an existing resource group or we will just create a new one. Mm -hmm. Let's call it Scapman V2. Then your region which is pre-selected for my tenant already. You will have to specify your organization name and this should usually be your fully legal corporate name like Acme Holding SE in this example. And then at least you need to replace this unique name string with your short handle. Um, best case, everything in lowercase and no spaces. Like here, we just will use Acme for the example. But as Stefan mentioned, you can also just fully um, change everything to your naming scheme that the, the Azure colleagues might have defined already. And then if you have already a license key, you could fill out. We will just do it with a trial license here. But maybe important to say it's also easy to switch to the um, enterprise version of Scapman later. So yeah. you can start just with the trial and deploy it later as enterprise one. Absolutely, yes, can be switched at any point. After validation has passed, we can click on create and wait for it to deploy all the resources, which typically should take about two to four minutes. Yeah, and I would say let's complete with our slides to um, already ex explain the next steps you need to do. So Scapman should be already up and running after you have um, started the deployment. And as Thorsten said, this might take maybe one or two minutes to succeed. And after you have done those steps, we recommend you to uh, run a post installation script. Um, here it depends on existing upgrades and new installations. 
due to we are now making a new deployment here, it's important to run the script. Um, we have added a PowerShell script to PowerShell gallery that you um, now need to execute. For sure, you will need some rights here like global admin and if you run the script on your client, you will also need the Azure CLI installed. Um, yeah, so um, when you have everything prepared, just run some two simple arguments, uh, some simple um, commands, downloading the scap mod, the scapman module itself, and then executing it. Um, on upgrades, you will get additional prompts. Here on a new installation, there should be no prompts at all. Maybe some words on the script, um, what's behind. Um, there it is important to say that Scapman version 1 used an app registration to authenticate against Microsoft Graph and Intune. With Scapman version 2, we now use managed identities. This managed identity, for example, is set up by the script automatically and will also get all needed um, rights assigned. For upgrades, um, yeah, the script also deploys, for example, the Scapman certificate master and the blob storage. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. If you want to get more details on that, what's behind the script, uh, just check our document, it's, uh, our docs on docs.scapman.com. After the deployment is complete, we can now open up the newly deployed service. In the resource group, we now see all these all these items. We have Scapman itself, then the certificate master, the app service plan, which brings the compute power, the key vault where the keys are stored, and the storage account where um, certificate master is um, writing down some, some information and, and things about the certificates. So now we go to the Scapman resource and on the top right we can click the URL to open up the interface. And here we see that not everything is green already and that we here have some code where we need to execute the um, some yeah uh, some scripts of us to complete the installation. And um, the simplest way is to use the Azure Cloud Shell here on the top right in the Azure portal because we are already authenticated in this browser session. And then we can simply paste it, which will first get our module for Scapman from the PowerShell gallery and then execute the complete command. Yes, and when you use the command that is stated also on the side, you also see some output that gives you always a status what's running behind the scenes. Now create this managed identity and link all the resources together. Yeah, and as I said, normally with new deployments, you don't get additional prompts here. Um, only when you do an upgrade, you might get asked for some uh, things to define. Okay, now this is done. Great. That's basically it now. So um, your Scapman should be now up and running as you also see it on the slides here. So on the left side, um, maybe not yet all because there are some additional things to do that Torsten will show later, but the most of the things should now show as connected. Um, the hint you have seen before with the commands for the script um, is also gone now. So if the script has been executed successfully, you won't see this hint anymore. Um, important now to mention, if you want to use Certificate Master, which is one of our enterprise features, um, you need to make sure that you grant yourself access to the enterprise app. So certific Certificate Master is automatically added also by the script to your Azure AD under Enterprise Applications. And there you have the possibility to add yourself or additional admins that they can access the uh, portal with their Azure AD accounts. I would say let's uh, switch back to Torsten to see if everything is working on his end. And yeah, I think we only have to do some small things now.
Yeah, so basically you have to go to Azure Active Directory, Enterprise Applications, find the Enterprise Application named CertMaster. You might have to switch this to any for them for it to show up. And then on Users and Groups, you go ahead and add the admin account that should be uh, admin to manage the CertMaster or to access the CertMaster and issue the certificates. And also when we hit Refresh, um, we will see that um, the, the command is gone um, that we need to execute. On the right, we could start the link with the PKI, with the cert master, but we also see that not everything is done already because we see the vault is not connected and that is because we have not yet generated the, the root certificate itself. So, so that's now okay. for this, we need to... Yeah. No, it's not really an error here. It's okay that it's not connected because we have to do some additional things now. Yeah. Yes, exactly. This is the, the next step. Then we click here. And this is just to make sure that you do not do it multiple times, even if you plan some more complex environments. We create the first node here. And then it says this will take a little, but usually this is quite fast. And now we see that the vault is connected and that basically the setup is done. And this concludes our installation of Skepman version 2. Yeah, that's it.